good morning team. So today we're uh, fishing the magic carpet. It's the 1st of September and uh, this section of the canal finally opened. Um, so today there's not much flow. So today we're going to set up an egg rig. So we're using some three-way swivels, some really tiny ones. And what we're going to do first up, fold that braid over. So you've got two strands. Feed it through your three-way swivel and then tie your knot like that. And the reason I do that, because this braid is so thin that your normal knots will just pull through on this braid. So you get uh, twice the strength on your knot and you get it actually sticking. So I'll tie this and then we'll get into the rest. We've got that knot tied. We just want to clip these tag ends off. So there'll be three of them. One, two, three. Some people will run a leader to the three-way swivel, but I just tie the braid straight to the straight to the swivel. Never had an issue with it. Um, and you also have one less knot to have to deal with. So. So the next bit is we're going to tie the leader from the swivel to the hook. So we've got our leader here which we've done at an arm span. Um, we're going to run that off the, the middle of the swivel and then off the bottom we're going to run a dropper to a sinker. So I'll just tie this up. So just a uh, I think they call it an improved clinch knot or a blood knot. So essentially you go around six times, make sure you wet your knots. You go through the hole in the middle right at the um, at the bottom, sorry, and then back through. And that is all you got to do. Just make sure you wet it. If you don't wet it. Got our leader tied up. That's only six pound. Um, that's all we're going to use. That's all I ever really use, especially for the canals. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a egg pattern on. So these are six mil clear drift eggs. Um, Reese at NZ Fishing Flies was a good bugger and tied these up for me. So I'm going to use some of these, and we might even put a second one on. We'll see how we feel. So, if you're wanting to tie a second egg on, you tie it off the shank or the the bottom of the hook. I only use about a foot, not even a foot. Um, so you tie your knot on there, clip it up, and then you have your second egg running off the bottom of your hook. So we'll get that sorted. Right, so we've got our rig up. We've got one egg here, one egg there, uh, about a foot in between. The reason why we're rigging up is because I didn't check my gear this morning. So, fishing yesterday, fished with it all day, hooked a fish here this morning, snapped me straight off. So, it always pays to check your line every time you're going to go fishing. Even if you think it's good, just run your fingers up your trace and anything like that. So you don't lose fish like me. Um, the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to run some line to the sinker. You might change sinkers three or four times before you get the right weight. And today it's not flying very fast so we're going to go with a five gram sinker or a three and a half gram sinker. So we're going to sort of jump and change between the two depending on how the drift acts. We've got a wee bit of wind as well so probably go with the 5 gram being a wee bit heavier um, just so we can keep in, in touch a bit better without the big loop uh, happening in our braid so we'll tie that up so we've got our dropper 
to our sinker. We're running, you can run it between sort of half a metre to a metre depending what the flow is doing. I like to run it about six or seven hundred. These are the weights we use. So it's the amazing baits, they've got the weights written on them. Um, they're really handy. I like just the, the normal ones, some people have wire ones. There's a whole bunch of different ones but these are my favourite here. So five gram today. And that's our rig done. So basically you need your, your three-way swivels, some sinkers, your glow bugs, and you're good to go. We've got six pound braid, six pound fluoro, and hopefully we've catch some fish. The flow's slowly picking up, which is good for us. We can go a bit heavier in weight. Um, but essentially you just want to cast three quarters of the way across the canal. You want to let that sink down and then you want to take all the all the loose line out of or the slack line out. So you've got tension the whole way through and you'll feel it tapping along the bottom. Try and keep in line with your with your rig. Um, if it gets too far forward or gets too far back, you might start snagging fish. Or if it gets too far forward, you might start hanging up and, and snagging the bottom. Um, so essentially, cast out three quarters of the way over. Walk down with it, bang in line with your line. And then just feel for the bites. You'll feel it tapping on the bottom. Tap, 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 tap. So when there's a bite, it's usually like a pull. Like a, like a pulling pull pull instead of a tapping. So it takes a bit of time to sort of get used to the, the difference in those two. But uh, you know, if you're lucky enough, the fish might hook itself. So we'll see how we go. So we're up here at the Magic Carpet. It's the first of September. This place usually closes from the end of May through to the end of August. Um, we got something pretty special here. It's a new rod coming out, first of September. The MC Nano Eight Foot Eight. We also have a little ITX 1000. This thing is super smooth. This is my new favorite reel by far for anything fresh water. Um, so this has been designed specifically for egg drifting. So it's a lot longer. It's a bit softer at the tip, but it's got loads of grunt through the butt section to the mid section. So we're going to look forward to uh, drifting a few eggs with this. And hopefully we catch a decent fish. Test it out. What? 